for you. It's an anniversary that haunts us. Today marks five years since seven-year-old Kyron Horman disappeared from Skyline Elementary. Whether the investigators find it or someone spots Kyron and, and we bring him home that way, either way, we're going to bring him home one way or the other. So five years later, are we any closer to finding Kyron? What we've learned about new progress in the investigation. And welcome to Coin 6 News at 6 o'clock. I'm Jeff Gianola. And I'm Jennifer Hoff. The Multnomah County Sheriff's Office tells us they're getting tips on Kyron nearly daily from all around the world. We've learned investigators are now going back to people that they spoke with the day Kyron disappeared, and they're really hoping to get new information. In fact, a retired FBI agent is also reviewing evidence looking for new leads. The sheriff's office is also now offering a $50,000 reward for any information that helps find Kyron. For many, today is a time to mark Kyron's disappearance. Before his father, every day matters. I got a chance to talk one on one with Kane Horman after five years of searching for answers. You've often said this is just another day in a way. What do you mean by that? It's not so much about June 4th necessarily. It's, it, for us, it's a lot about, well, what about the week after, June 12th, you know, July 10th, August 2nd? You know, what, what are we doing on those dates for, for him uh, in addition to living our lives you know, with him integrated in? Um, so it's just, it's still very much you know, what we need to do looking forward, not about any one given day. His last memories of Chiron are frozen in time. His son at seven years old, the smile, the glasses, for the last five years, Kane Horman has lived each moment believing Kyron will be found. How do you do that? How do you get up each day and have that hope in your heart? Yeah, I'd almost call it a belief. You know, hope to me is, is good, but it also it, it's kind of uncertain. Basically what our search area is intended to be is this hollow basin here. Over the years, there have been countless searches. Where are the clues, the evidence of Kyron? Nothing is turned up. So there's still that theory that I think that I've talked about a lot, and I know a lot of others have as well, that he's potentially either in the area with somebody or even outside of the area or our area with somebody else. And as those searches continue and they don't turn up anything, um, it, it continues to increase the probability that he's got to be out there with somebody somewhere. And to me, as we do the searches, it continues to, to rule out certain areas, and it just it reinforces that belief. Kane also believes Terry Horman, his ex-wife, was involved in Kyron's disappearance. She was at Skyline School with Kyron the morning he disappeared. There's probably things you know that the public doesn't know, obviously. How do you deal with that anger? I feel that she's involved. And I think a lot of people feel the same way through the evidence and information that we have, not just through gut feel, but through what we know. Uh, even through her admitted, we've talked about polygraph failures. I mean, she's told us flat out that she failed those tests. I know they're not admissible in court, but in the general discussion of things, they're perfectly admissible. Um, so I just, I kind of left it there. It was, we know there's involvement. We're not going to get any help down that path. And I just kind of left that path alone. And it's always been a focus on, well, what else do we need to go do? Who else do we need to go find? As opposed to stewing on the one avenue. So uh, emotionally, I'd left that behind a long time ago. And then there's Kiara, Kyron's little sister. She has just finished kindergarten at Skyline School. She's going to the same school that Kyron went to. And you say, actually, that's a healing thing in a way. Not doing that would have not been normal to live in our community and not go to our school. A school is the center of our community or one of the main center points. We're very much immersed in our community. It's one of those things where it's probably a hard topic for folks in our community to openly embrace, but they embrace us through our attendance at the school. There's something else very important. Kane wants everyone to take a hard look at the age progression photos of Kyron what he might look like now. He may not be wearing glasses. He would be 12, not seven years old. And as always, he hopes this will be the last anniversary of his son's disappearance. Mm.